Hi guys, I'm gonna show you the Luna by Intech. It's new, it's different, it's stylish. You are gonna love it. All right, so I'm starting right here in the front corner because I think just the, the profile of this trailer is so interesting. Um, it's interesting to see that it's different with the LED lights on the top. You've got bullet lights on the front and look at this giant curved window. How sweet. You can get a good idea of what the side looks like here. Let's talk about the weight, the size of this. It's 1800 pounds. It's just under 14 feet long and that's including the tongue. Now, side to side, the box is six feet wide. Each fender is 11 inches. So you're seven feet, 10 inches total width. So you've got the stability of the wide axles, but only six feet across on the box for the wind drag. So super efficient to tow. Um, let's take a look at the front first. Uh, again, you can't help but notice the design. Uh, right here, this is where your propane is. And with a quick quarter turn on both of these uh, little screws right here, this pops up and you've got your propane inside. Propane bottle sitting there. It is a five gallon, 20 pound propane bottle. Uh, it's an aluminum frame trailer. Uh, it is a triple tongue, so I love the way it's very sturdy. Your tongue is only about 20 inches longer than the box. So you don't have this huge tongue in front, which keeps the entire length of it under 14 feet. And the box is a little over 12. So uh, just a super efficient trailer. You'll be surprised how big it feels on the inside. Uh, let's come around to the side. One thing I like to talk about is the exterior. This is the high gloss gel coat on the fiberglass. So it's very slick, very shiny. I love the graphics. This particular one has turquoise accents, but of course, if you had another color that you wanted, or maybe you wanted it to match your vehicle, yeah, that could be done. So they wanted to have the most style that it can have. Uh, I love the rounded door. You've got the porthole in it. Coming back, look at the stylish fender. These are 15 inch uh, tires, aluminum wheels. I love the two-tone. You've got little bullet lights right here at the front and the back. Now on this side, you can see the frameless window. Uh, now frameless windows are always uh, really nice to look at, but for longevity, they're really good because you don't have that clamp frame on both sides that can actually loosen over time and allow water to get in. So these are great windows. I love the dark tint on them because especially uh, in hot weather, it keeps the sun out. You've got a porch light above. Of course, you can see it's LED. Uh, this is gonna be your plug-in, your 30 amp plug-in. Uh, it's got the power cord with the collar on it to keep it nice and tight. This is your city water inlet. This trailer has an eight gallon fresh water tank as well, but if you just wanna go direct to your faucet, you would use your city water fill. And down below, you can see this is gonna be your solar panel port right here. And next to that, your cable TV inlet. Again, I love the little single bullet light here. It's kind of hard to see what it looks like, but it looks kind of like a flat reflect, a reflector with a little LED bully, bullet light sticking out the side of it. You have rear stabilizer jacks down here that are manual, very easy to use. Before we move to the back, I love to point out the insignia here. It's actually kind of a mirrored uh, type graphic and it's raised. It's actually a cutout that's put on here. So again, I just love the stylish features that they've added to this. Let's come around to the back. Look at the way they have the molded bumper on the bottom, the round LED tail lights. Again, 
a raised lunographic on the top, and then uh, the decals here. You've got the coordinated LED lights on the top, but the best thing is the kitchen inside. So let's take a look at that. Now they're calling this a gourmet kitchen, and when I heard that, I could not imagine what that would look like, and this far exceeded my expectations. I love the style of it and the function. They thought about both of those things when they built this kitchen. Um, you've got wonderful speakers out here, so you can have some great music while you're uh, outside, but also if you're cooking, you're over here, you, you get the music, the lights, the ambiance. Uh, you know, you'll know from my other videos, I always talk about the lighting because whether it's daylight or evening, I think that's a really important feature of how a trailer is designed. Here's the two light switches for the back. So this one controls the overhead light, which is an LED light that's attached to the top of your tailgate. So it lights up the entire kitchen area. The other light, oops, this light over here is going to be the strip light on top that's going to light up this shelf up here and give you a little bit of light down here. Um, so you can work with either one of those at night. That gives you enough light to work with. The one above gives you full lighting in the whole area. I just think that's, it just makes it nice to work with. So let's talk about the kitchen storage. Uh, this is a nice shelf up here. You can use it for all the things that you're just going to set up there and uh, use occasionally or have available uh, because you don't want to use your counter space for that. Uh, it all can fit right up there. Uh, your counter space is going to be your workspace. Uh, th what they've done here, this is a Dometic, an, an unusual glass top range that you don't see a lot, but it is a Dometic that has a flat surface on the top and three burners underneath. The three burners are going to have the, the controls on the side and then a sparker here. So you can see once you turn the gas on, it's going to spark and light each burner as you need it. So you don't need any matches. But when this is down, you have full counter space all the way across. So if you're not cooking with the stove, you have a great space here to work with. Right up here, you have controls that are going to be your water pump. Again, remember we said you have an eight gallon water tank. Below that, you're going to have your water heater switch. And then, uh, because you do have hot water in this, then you have the light switches underneath. In this uh, touch screen here, it's going to tell you the battery and how much it, water is in your fresh water tank. So you've got a monitor and your controls all in one neat little panel. Uh, this is going to be just a super slick faucet. Uh, you, can, you can use this in any direction, pull it down, raise it up if you've got a tall pan. Get this out of the way so that you've got a full faucet here to work with. It's a single handle that you pull out, whoops, out to turn it on and then forward and back is going to be the hot and the cold. And when you're done with the faucet, if you want to make it a standard faucet that's in place, you just hook it back in. Again, that can move out of the way as well. So you've got a good moving space here on the front. I love the bins that they have put in here. These are actually elastic, so it holds things inside. It's cool to see just the the tile look on the back just gives it a, a nice stylish feel. I love this piece right here. It's a good solid piece that looks like a brushed aluminum. The Formica countertop gives you another workspace here as well as the microwave that's flush. Now on the right you've got 110 plug-ins. Great place to put your coffee pot or anything else that needs to sit right here and plug in for a few minutes. The, uh, this is the Dometic refrigerator. It is a 12 volt, but it also plugs in to the 120. So you can run it either way. Uh, it's a little unique because it has a locking mechanism in when it's in <clears throat> and a locking mechanism when it's out. 
So to pull it out, you're going to pull on these clamps right here. I, sometimes I don't pull it quite right. There I go. You've got to get both of them pulled out at the same time. And then this slides out and it locks into place. So if you're working with it or opening this up and leaning on it, it's not going to be moving around on you. That's a, a great feature. You can set this to be a freezer or a refrigerator. It just depends on what you want. You can have a range of temperature you can work with. And then when you want to slide it back in, you do the same thing, just in reverse. You push these two yellow pieces in and it unlocks it. Then you can push it in and it locks itself back into place here. So it's not going to be coming out when you're going down the road. The last thing we're going to look at back here is the storage. Now under here you do have some under counter storage and you also have your battery. You can see your water pump in the back so everything's very accessible. That's always a nice feature. Now let's take a quick peek on this other side. Now on this particular unit, when I pull on this, it's going to come out completely. In the future, you are going to see, I believe, a hinge down here. So this is going to hinge and just tip out, and it will have a little tray in it for any utensils or anything you'd like to store in that. And the reason that is, is because right behind this panel is, let me see if I can get it out. That's going to be, be uh, the back of your air conditioner. And uh, I believe your water heater is going to be in there as well. So you've got gear behind there and not really a whole lot of storage, but you want to number one, have access to it. And then you could also, again, this will have the hinge on the bottom. So you would be able to use that as a, a little bit of a storage tray. And that's, this just pops right back on here if I can get it in the right spot. Yep, and since I don't want to waste your time with that, I'm going to set it down and I'll pop it back in in just a minute. So the rear kitchen, gorgeous, very usable. Uh, coming around the side, again, you've got a stabilizer jack. Your cool logo. Let's look in here. This is going to be how you fill your water tank. Just fill that, you'll get your eight gallons of water uh, back right in front of the kitchen. Your water pump switch we saw on the back. So if you're traveling, want to have a little bit of water on board for cooking, washing your hands, that works great. Another LED porch light here. The frameless window, beautiful graphics. Now that we've seen the outside, let's crawl inside and see what the features are in there. Okay, so now we've seen how stylish the outside is, we're going to take a look at the inside. Now in the meantime, let me just remind you, if you haven't already, just subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll get to see all these new videos that come out. Uh, remember to like us and if you have comments, we love to see them. So up front, I think this is a very unique trailer because not only is it kind of a teardrop size, but you'll notice there's a lot of headroom in this. So I'm actually sitting on the front portion here and there's plenty of headroom for me. I'm only five feet tall, but we've had six foot men sit in here and they had plenty of headroom too. So don't be worried about that. There is a lot of space in here. I love the front window from the inside and the outside because in the daylight it makes it feel so open in here. This one also, in the front, you've got a blackout shade that pulls down to cover this big window. Now on the side windows, I'll show you there's a blackout shade and a screen because they actually open. Since the front window doesn't open, it doesn't need the screen to pull down. But that's just a, a very cool feature. A good question that we get a lot of times is, I don't want the daylight to wake me up. Not a problem here. You've got the lights at the top that have blue lights, or if you hold this down, it turns white. The blue is much more calm at night, uh, but if you need better lighting, it's available. You've also got the, the LED round lights on the ceiling. It makes it just feel very bright, very light, very open in here. The front seating, I think it's the best seat in the house, although we're going to show you some other seating that's pretty nice. 
you've got a, a table here. Now this is stationary. It doesn't open. There is no storage underneath it because your 20 pound propane bottle is under here. Remember we access that from that front panel that you have the quarter turn on the screws. Take the front panel off and there's your propane. So that's what's under here, but it makes a nice place to set a drink or maybe a coffee pot that you would plug in on the side because guess what? You've got 110 plugs on both sides. Now this right over here, this is going to be the controls for your Dometic air conditioner. I love the gray texture in the walls. I also love uh, the carpet on the bottom part of this because somehow when you're moving around in here the base section is the part that always gets kicked or banged up and has issues so it's nice to have a little bit of protection on the bottom part so let's come over here and look at the storage because there is storage compartments under both sides of this this cushion comes right off now here's the control for the TV we'll look at that in a minute this cushion comes off and under here you've got a big storage bin. You've got the same thing on this side. Now what you're looking at now is some of the things that come with the trailer that are in there uh, for storage purposes. But of course it doesn't take up much room if you kept it in here and some of it you may not need when you're traveling. So that just folds right back down. It's easy to get to and this cushion goes right on top. Now there's the controls for the television. The, in the back wall here, let's see if we can move around. I'll get to the other side and you can take a look at from the other side of the trailer. This is a 40 inch flat screen. So you can see why I think that's one of the best seats in the house. But then there's also these. These cushions are actually folded in half they fold out to make the bed. They are super comfortable. These can be used as backrests or armrests. We'll try to show you in the still shots in the end some different configurations. It would be too difficult in this space to actually show it to you on film, but uh, I love these chairs turned around, stretched out, watching the TV. I know there's there's times camping that that's a wonderful thing to do and other times you're outside having a great time but with this little camper you've got the best of both worlds. I'm going to move this one out of the way and show you some of the things behind it. Now I apologize I did take my shoes off partly because they're noisy but also partly because they they will mark up the floor and you'd have to look at my footprints possibly. So let me move that out of the way. What you're looking at back here is going to be the Dometic air conditioner. It has a 10.5 BTU air conditioner uh, that will just keep this place very cool even in the hottest weather. You've got a really nice stereo that of course all has the latest. It's got the Bluetooth, the CD, DVD player, uh, everything that you would need that's going to play either on inside speakers or outside speakers or both. Again, you've got plugs here next to it. This is going to be your converter. So you've got your breakers and fuses behind this panel. Next to that with the green light is going to be your LP detector. It's also your carbon monoxide detector. And then another little basket for magazines, papers, maps. Um, you know, we all collect that when we're out camping because you want to know where you might want to go and camping trails that you pick up at the state at the ranger station. You never know. 40 inch television, another little storage bin right here. Uh, that looks to me like a space for all kinds of cell phones, glasses, wallet, whatever else you have that you need. Let's look at these windows over here. Uh, this is a, it's almost a, a fabric uh, block valance at the top. So it's very clean looking. You don't have curtains or anything uh, too fabricy in here. Uh, this one has the actual uh, screen pulled down and then there's a blackout shade that you can pull down over that. So that, there's the blackout shade. Here's the screen that rolls up and then the window 
opens and it tips out from the bottom so that you get not only the full opening for airflow, but you can leave it open in the rain, in the mist, uh, any type of damp weather, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, again, it's a frameless window, makes it feel very open in here and is extremely useful when you're camping. Let's see, we have some light switches on the side and they're gonna control not only the overhead lights, but your porch lights because you have those large LED porch lights on both sides. So other than all the great configurations that we can do with this seating, I think I've told you a lot about this trailer. The only thing we haven't talked about is that you have a black coin floor. That means that it's gonna be very easy to clean. The other thing that you need to know about this flooring, and I'll try to scoot these out of the way, is that you have storage underneath. So I've stepped outside the trailer so I can show you this floor a little better. Uh, the black coin floor has these built-in compartments and it gives you storage on both sides of the trailer. You just move the cushions to one side and you can access this. If you pull this up, you can see that there is an aluminum tray here and it's about four inches deep would be my guess, but you've got lots of great storage here again an identical one on the other side uh, so then you just drop this back down and you've got your flush floor again so what a great trailer some unique features there is no way for me to tell you how this feels without you coming and getting in it and seeing for yourself uh, before i got in this trailer i'd seen photos and i will tell you even a video cannot do this trailer justice so i hope you'll stop by to see it uh, i always tell people call first you never know if we're out of them or waiting on a shipment or what's happening but what a great trailer uh, be thinking about ways you can use it because it's so versatile anyway thanks for watching uh, remember subscribe to our video channel Give us a thumbs up, send us your comments. We love to hear from you. And if we can ever help you, let us know. I'm PJ at Princess Craft, and we're always here to answer your questions.